This is the solution to written homework 45. Okay, find the inverse function. Okay, so then first we'll convert to the graph representation. So y is 3x minus 7. Okay, this means that we're considering the graph. Now we'll swap x's and y's. So that this is x is 3y minus 7. So conceptually, what this step is, is this is the reflection step. So reflect across y is x. Which is to say we're going to swap inputs and outputs. And now we'll solve for y, so x plus 7 is 3y, so x plus 7 over 3 is y, and therefore the inverse function is x plus 7 over 3. So g, again, We'll consider the graph. Make the reflection. <clears throat> and now we want to solve for y, so I'll multiply both sides by y minus 5. So x multiplied by y minus 5. 4y minus 3, so xy minus 5x is 4y minus 3. Now I'll collect all the terms with y on the left, all those without on the right. So that would be xy minus 4y is 5x minus 3. And now I'll factor out the y. So this would be x minus 4 multiplied by y is 5x minus 3. And now I can divide both sides by x minus 4. So y is 5x minus 3 over x minus 4. And therefore, the inverse function of g is 5x minus 3 divided by x minus 4.